think that's the recipe for having issues with insect infestations and, and problems with imbalances both for the animals as well as for the land. And when you look at um, the, the wildlife, they want varieties. And in fact, with cattle, and probably you see this with sheep and goats, I, you know, I don't have them. But depending on the time of year, they will very strongly go for maybe the clovers. And you look at the clovers and the alfalfa, or the clovers and the grass, and you say they both look just as lush and beautiful and, and tempting. But there's something about it that they will choose at any particular time what they go for in the pasture. And uh, also, too, depending on the weather conditions, some things will grow better than others for a given time period. And so having multiple kinds of plants in the field is really a, a pretty good thing. When you look at monocropping, that's really geared more towards, I'm going out, I'm going to harvest this mechanically, and most of what we have here, we don't want to harvest mechanically. We want the animal to harvest it. 